Would you like me to drive for a while? Don't worry about me. You just get some sleep. We've still got a long way to go. Are you sure? You kids don't need to be worrying over an adult like that. This is nothing for me. To be fair, you are an excellent driver. The RV tends to shake a lot more when I'm behind the wheel. I may not look it, but I used to patrol in a squad car. Driving second nature to me at this point. Sure, once you've got a license. How tough is it, being police? <sighs> well, it sure ain't easy. Oh, right. You're studying to become some police bigwig, aren't you, Nijima? Yes, but I've only just begun. Wouldn't really recommend it myself. This job's nothing but hell. Your hours are a mess. You get transferred all over the place. Anything goes down at the scene, you get blamed. That may be so, but my heart's set on it, no matter how tough it may be. Thank you. Well, if your heart's set, then do what you gotta do. But as your future senior, I'll share this. The harder you work, the more you wind up putting the people in your life on the back burner. Criminals don't care about your schedule. Tragedies don't care. You'll barely see your own home. Sit on that for a bit. Then, decide if the force is right for you. Well, I am already quite aware. <laughs> Speaking of, don't you have any family waiting for you at home? <laughs> Good question. Aw, oh, can it? Just mind your own business. <sighs> Let's just say, you've got to think about yourself before you can worry about anyone else. Yes, I suppose that's true. Hmm? What's up now? You just reminded me of my father, is all. He was an officer, too. Unfortunately, he lost his life on duty. I see. He took his job a lot more seriously than you seem to, but when you boil it down, you two are actually quite similar. <laughs> you shouldn't diss your father so badly, comparing him to me. Uh, hmm. So, uh, Nijima, when you were little, your old man probably wasn't home often either, was he? How'd you feel about that? Uh, well, in retrospect, I'm very proud. My father was an officer who acted on his beliefs all the way to the end. He taught me that his duty was to keep people from being hurt. It may just be his influence on me, but I think becoming an officer is still an admirable path in life. <laughs> if only that were always true. Our ability to help is restrained. The shrewder and more malicious the target, the less we can actually serve them justice. Held back by superiors, held back by the red tape, held back by all sorts of laws. The only thing the police do is obey orders, even when they involve total injustice or an absence of human logic. Basically, the cops I see every day are nothing but a bunch of spineless dogs. And that includes when I'm looking in the mirror. Sure, like Nijima's pops. But anyway, that wasn't what I was getting at. I meant, when you were still just a kid, how did you feel about your dad rarely being home, Nijima? Oh, when I was younger? I did understand that it was part of his job, but I do remember missing him still. But at least I always had my sister with me. Hmm. I see. Sorry to bother you with all that. You guys had better get to sleep already. If we run into trouble while you're all too tired, I'm the one who'll be in real deep shit. Uh, I slept so much that even sleep's boring now. What do? Well, is anyone feeling peckish yet? Although I suppose we've nearly reached Kyoto. Come on, Ryuji. Make us laugh. Don't tell me to perform for you! I ain't some comedian! Shit, not now. Don't be stupid. Just answer for me, will you? Uh, make it quick, though. Just say I'm driving, and then I'll call back later. Hello? It's way past noon. Where are you? 
Don't tell me you forgot what day it is. We were supposed to visit Mom's grave together. Huh? Who is this? Please give him his phone back. Driving? Oh, I guess that makes sense. What is it? Who's calling? Is it some kind of emergency? Why don't you just pull over, Gramps? Do I hear a bunch of girls with you? What an asshole! You're just out partying right now, aren't you? Ooh, she sounds pissed. <laughs> oh, you really are the worst! Don't bother coming home again! You don't even deserve to visit Mom's grave! Um, I don't know the details, but is everything alright? Yeah, sorry about that. <laughs> Just forget it. So, who was that anyway? My daughter? Daughter? You have one? God damn it. Sorry, time to floor it. Hang on to your seats, kids. Okay, we're in Kyoto City Limits. Is this good? I really have to go. Just park this somewhere and check out the temples or something. I'll be in touch tomorrow. Wait, tomorrow? W where is their overnight... What in the heck? He's been in quite the state since that phone call earlier. Maybe plans to keep, or something. Based on my deductions... Today seems to be the day Zenkichi's wife passed away. He is due at her grave to pay respects. Zenkichi-san's wife passed away? That's why his daughter demanded to know where he was. Oh, Zenkichi. He could have just told us what was going on. Also, wasn't the way she was talking to him, like, really bad? Especially for today? She was enraged by the sound of young female voices. She surmised, you're just out partying right now, aren't you? Whoa. Talk about getting the wrong idea. Uh, that's terrible. We need to go straighten things out with her right away. We can't do that. We're the ones who talked him into that whole mess. I have found only one cemetery in the vicinity. He will be there. 